Cozo Kentin Troll and Sub-C7 have collaborated in the creation of a flexible Sub-C choke valve intervention system for the most demanding of environments in the oil and gas sectors. The following program demonstrates the system which can be adapted for the severest of shallow or deep water applications. With the vessel on location, a heave compensated lift line with a 10 ton ROV deployable hook is positioned at the work site where it is attached to the choke dropped object debris cap by an ROV. After the debris cap is lifted clear of its location over the choke valve, the vessel crane deposits it on the seabed close to the work site. Next, the choke insert running tool, or CIRT, is connected to the lift line and unlatched from the transportation frame by pulling back on the latch pins and rotating them into the open position, whilst the carrier yoke is in the fully retracted position. The CIRT is positioned overboard in a safe location. The ROV orientates the CIRT so that the tooling interfaces are facing in the correct direction. The CIRT is then slowly deployed by the lift line into the choke guide funnel. Once located, the primary guidance strips on the CIRT ensure the correct orientation for engagement with the choke insert. The soft landing cylinders on the CIRT ensure that the engagement of the two parts is executed in a safe and controlled manner. The ROV locks the CIRT onto the guide funnel by rotating and pushing forward the lockdown pins into the pad eye type interfaces. These are located at each side of the guide funnel. The lockdown pins, which are spring loaded in the closed position, can only be released manually. With the CIRT locked on to the choke guide funnel, the vessel lift line is then removed and recovered to the surface. The ROV inserts a torque tool into the ROV lifting choke receptacle and deploys the yoke down on to the choke insert. The ROV locks the CIRT yoke onto the choke insert by rotating and pushing forward the lockdown pins into the pad eye type interfaces located on each side. The torque tool is then inserted into the clamp connector interface, which unlocks the choke insert from the choke body resident on the subsea structure. The torque tool is then reinserted into the lifting yoke ROV receptacle and the yoke and choke insert are lifted into the CIRT. The lift line ROV hook is then attached to the CIRT. To unlatch the CIRT from the choke guide funnel, the latch pins are pulled back and rotated into the open position. With the assistance of the ROV, the CIRT, complete with choke insert, is lifted clear of the guide funnel and recovered to the surface. The CIRT is deployed complete with choke insert into the TDF. The CIRT is orientated so that the tooling interfaces are in the correct direction, after which it is slowly deployed by the vessel crane into the choke receptacle guide funnel. The torque tool is inserted into the clamp connector to secure the insert to choke receptacle. With the lift line reattached, the CIRT is relocated from the retrieve choke insert position to the replacement choke insert position within the TDF. The yoke is deployed onto the choke insert by manually operating the yoke interface. Once the yoke is in contact with the choke, it is locked by rotating lockdown pins into the pad eye type interfaces located at each side of the choke insert. To open the choke insert clamp, the torque tool is operated 
and the choke insert is unlocked from the receptacle. The yoke and captive choke insert can then be lifted up into the CIRT where they are fully protected from contact damage. Once the lift line is attached, the CIRT can be unlatched from the guide funnel and lifted clear of the TDF. When the CIRT is manoeuvred into a safe location, it can be deployed overboard. The ROV then locates it and swims the tool to the work site. The vessel crane then manoeuvres the CIRT into the choke guide funnel on the subsea structure and repeats the land-out sequence executed during the previous choke retrieval. The ROV inserts the torque tool into the CIRT lifting yoke interface and deploys the yoke down onto the choke insert. Guide pins on the choke insert engage with receptacles on the lower choke stab plate and act as secondary and final alignment as the insert is deployed further into the choke body. Once engaged, a small indicator post with contrasting coloured rings mounted on the lower stab plate identifies that the insert is fully engaged. The ROV then inserts the torque tool into the choke clamp interface and closes the connector. To unlatch the CIRT yoke from the choke insert, the latch pins are pulled back and rotated into the open position. The ROV inserts the torque tool into the lifting yoke interface and fully elevates the yoke into the CIRT. Once the line is hooked up and the latch pins released, the CIRT can be unlatched from the guide funnel, recovered to the surface and deployed into its transportation and deployment frame. At the worksite, the ROV replaces the debris cap by lifting it from the seabed and locating it onto the choke guide funnel.